Example number two, relating symmetry to transformations. Look at the figures. We've got figure one, two, and three. We're gonna complete the chart for each figure. So, we wanna know about different types of symmetry. Rotation, line, and then also rotation and line symmetry for the three different figures. Um, number and directions of lines of symmetry. Well, the arrows are pointing clockwise. If you cut it in half vertically, the two sides don't match. Horizontally, two sides don't match. Diagonally, yeah, or obliquely. There's no line of symmetry there in this particular shape. However, if you rotate this shape, uh, arrows on the bottom, so one, two, three. So it's got three for an order of rotation, which means its angle of rotation is 120 degrees. Let's look at figure two now. It doesn't have rotational symmetry. If you spin that shape, three on the bottom, you don't get to the point where there's three on the bottom again until you go one full turn. So there's no order of, uh, or no rotational symmetry in this case. Um, so let's look at our lines of symmetry. We can cut it in half that way with a vertical line of symmetry and both halves do match. If we were to draw a horizontal line, we've got two on top, three on the bottom, so that wouldn't jive. And if you went obliquely, again, well, that's not what you're gonna have on the other half in either instance. So there's one line of symmetry and it's vertical. Order of rotation, as I said, it doesn't have an line or rotational symmetry so our order of rotation is just one and so then that's 360 degrees to get back to the same shape figure three well let's see number of lines of symmetry we can cut it in half with a vertical line we can cut it in half with a horizontal line Top and bottom are the same, left and right are mirror images of each other as well. But I don't think that we can do it obliquely. I think it's close. Actually, that should work. really close. Let's see here. Uh, oh, no, it wouldn't. Because if you cut this in half, you've got a little bit more than half of this shape showing. So that means it's not symmetrical. All right, so then we've got two lines of symmetry, one vertical, one horizontal. Now let's check our rotational symmetry on this shape as well. And we'll use this one. So it's a little bit wider than it is tall. If we rotate it, that's not the same shape. That whole thing is taller than it is wide. So that doesn't count. That's one point where it matches. And so there's a total of two points then, one halfway and one at the end. So 360 divided by two or 180 degrees. So that's what we're looking for on that one. So you can assess rotational symmetry and lines of symmetry on any shape. Part B, what shape is used to make each design? How is each design made? So we can use translation, which is moving an object side to side or up and down or diagonally. 
You can use reflection, which is your line of symmetry, or you can use rotation, rotational symmetry. So figure one is made from one arrow. If you rotate it one third of a turn about its center, now here's the trick. If you've got just this original arrow, the center is not the center of the arrow in this particular instance to get to your final shape. The center is going to be out here. You can rotate it a third of a turn and you will fill this other dotted section here. And then you can do another third of a turn to get the third one. So you can make copies that are rotations. Uh, rotate the arrow one third of a turn about the center of rotation. Figure two we're going to look at. This is making copies without rotating or anything like that. Figure two is made from one um, circle. And then we're going to translate it one, two, three, four times. Figure three, we've got a hexagon. So it's originally from one hexagon. And we've got two reflections going on. So we can reflect both vertically and horizontally. If you reflect it across this horizontal line, you will fill this spot here. And then you reflect the whole thing across this vertical line of symmetry and you'll get both of these filled in as well. So you've got two different reflections going on one on your horizontal line and then one on your vertical line. Now, you could do it the other direction as well. You could go once across the vertical line and then bring those two down reflected on your horizontal line. In this case, the order of the procedure doesn't matter. All right, so one more show you know with a couple of different figures to look at, try and figure out which type of symmetry are involved. And how can you make the designs? Give it a go.